Hello and welcome to our video today where we're actually going to be talking about how to start a video blog. I'm Chad Hill and I have Adam Setzer with me as well. Good afternoon, Chad. A lot of interest in video SEO and video blogging, particularly those who've tried to do regular blogging and realized maybe they're not great writers or it's very time consuming. We want to talk about the merits of video blogging today and actually more specifically get into how to start a video blog. I think people are probably intimidated just by the technology and we also know, as with everything in SEO, it takes discipline to execute this over time. So how can we help our viewers get a few tips, uh, figure out how to start this? Yeah, and first of all, I want to make sure everyone knows that we cover this topic in depth on our website, hubshop.com. But I think the first place to start, Adam, is really to think about uh, creating a process that is easy to follow. And that's one of the things that we've done here at Hubshout is we have a daily lunchtime uh, video blog series where we identify a topic uh, and then we spend five minutes prepping for that topic to understand what speaking points we want to cover and then we get on and do a production like this and then we have a process for getting that production up to YouTube and onto our website. So you want a very easy to follow process that isn't, doesn't require lots and lots of different people. It can be done and streamlined by a, a core team. And practice makes perfect and that's another reason for weaving this into your daily marketing routine. I think a lot of people make the mistake, Chad, of not turning this into a process. They view it as a one-time project. They try to rush through it and then they want to say, well, we're all done. I did my video blog. I've done my SEO. Why isn't it working? And what we know and what we try to say in all of these videos is anything in SEO takes consistent execution over a long period of time. That does not mean you have to make a huge investment of your time. But as you said, Chad, turn it into a process and make it part of your daily marketing rhythm. Integrate your SEO into your marketing. Right. And one of the things that I think makes it easier to make it into a process is to talk about things that you're knowledgeable about and you can add value. And so that's the second point is when you're thinking about what are your topics and uh, what, what, things are, what kinds of questions people are, are asking and want answers for, look at your day-to-day -day interactions with your customers. What things are they asking about that you actually have a lot of knowledge and those are the kind of things that you should definitely be including in your video blogs. So that's the second one. Right. So as you're sitting there thinking, how do I start my video blog? You should think of topics that come very easily. Right, Chad? You shouldn't be like, hmm, maybe I'll talk about nuclear physics first. That's going to take 10 hours of research. Not a good move. And it's going to, again, create another barrier to just getting going. Incremental progress. Pick something you're comfortable with that is going to have value for your viewers and for your end users. That makes it pretty easy to dip your toe into. Exactly. And then I think the final point, and again, I want to remind everyone, check out our website, hubshot.com, because we, we talk about this extensively there. But the, the final point is in execution. So if you do identify a process that's relatively easy to follow and that you can build into your daily uh, routine, and then you talk about things you're passionate about and that you actually can add value on, then really the execution should come easily. Um, but if you don't, if you don't uh, follow through and do this on a re regular basis, you're not going to see the results that we are at least seeing here at HubShout. And everybody struggles with this because this is time management. You need to, as Chad said, execute consistently over time. This is like going to the gym or going to the dentist, except you're doing your SEO or you're doing your video blog. Just work it into your routine and execute over and over and over again. It does not need to be perfect and it should not be such a time burden that you just don't want to do it. If you do that for three, six, nine months, and you'll look back and say, wow, things have really changed. This SEO is really working. This video SEO is working. My blogs are becoming better. I'm getting followers. Everything's going where I want it to go.